Let's go straight to our guest, Tommy Robinson, leader of the EDL. Tommy, who are you? Shalom, George. Um, as you just said, I am the leader of the English Defence League. Um, I'm asking oh, who you are first. Is that your real name, Tommy no, Robinson? No, it's not my real name. You know my real name, obviously. I don't, actually. I'm just wondering uh, why you're calling it, yourself Tommy it, Robinson if that's it, not your name. It's Stephen Lennon. I, call, I started off calling myself Tommy Robinson. The reason for that was because we were going up and opposing against militant Islam, um, a very extreme fraction of the Islamic ideology, which kill people in the name of Allah. And we're opposing them, bringing heat on them, and putting heat on their community. And automatically, they will want to take that revenge out on me. So originally, I started off um, hiding my identity, but now I'm proud to show everyone who I am and stand up against uh, it and hold my head up. So you're not, you're not in the same danger you thought you were? or I, were I am. I am. Pretty, of course I'm in danger, but... Uh, it's but why, have you, well, why have you started to use your own name now, then? That's what because, I'm trying to because establish. It, because, it, because it was exposed, not by myself. Okay. Obviously, I, I, want right. to keep my, I want to keep myself safe, right. I want to keep my family well, safe. Well, I, I, I honestly didn't know your real name, but I'm glad that you've uh, revealed it, because it's always better to talk to people in their real names. And uh, secondly, you, I said, who are you? What are you? You said you're the leader of the EDL. Who made you the leader? I made myself the leader. I, thought, I, well, I, thought I, formed, it, I formed the English Defence League. And we formed it in Luton after the protest against our soldiers, and it's just spread as a phenomenon across the country, gaining support. So you, you, you made yourself the leader, uh, but you're a big supporter of democracy. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. I've actually met you, George, in 2007, um, in Luton, actually. Um, I, I went along to a respect party. It was on down the road. I don't know if you remember. I don't actually know. No, well, you, you was holding a meeting. I went along, I bought a bird with me, and we went to see what the respect party was all you about. You brought a bird with you? What, a parrot? Yeah, yeah, no, I bought a girl with me, and we come to, come to the meeting, and as we walked into the meeting, there was someone, someone stopped at the door, and as we were coming in, and they said, you need to sit this side, and you need to sit that side. And I asked them what they're on about. And I could see loads of Muslim men on one side, and loads of Muslim women on the other side. And I said, well, I've come with my, with my missus. I want to sit with my missus. No, 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 you can't. And I said, isn't your party called the respect party? Yeah. Am, or am I, am I missing something? Because are you separating me from my missus when I want to sit down with my missus and listen to what your party's about? And there was another Afro-Caribbean man there who was kicking off at the same point because he wanted to sit with his missus. And that's when I just, in my, in my own view, thought what a laughing stock this respect party is and why the hell is it putting itself respect? Well, that was, that was just about as big a pack of lies as you claiming that your name was Tommy Robinson. Because well, no such thing has ever happened, it, ever I'll, happened, at any respect party meeting. But we're not here to talk about respect, we're here to talk about you. And in principle, in particular rather, we want to talk about the allegation by the police that your extremist, violent, hate-filled behaviour and rhetoric is fueling extremism in our country. What do you say? Um, I think that, well, the police officer said that us going down to the seas, he didn't word it the way you've just worded it in any sort of way. I've, said, got, his, I, I've got his quotes here, if you on. want me to read them out, I, I will. Yeah, go on because I, I yeah. don't remember him saying a hate-filled rhetoric. I, 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 don't, I, I listen to it, it this says, morning. says, violence and intimidation are unacceptable wherever it comes from. You can't tackle extremism by being extremist yourself. You don't prevent hatred by being hateful yourself. That's what the police minister said. Okay, well, as I, as I said this morning when I spoke to someone about this, September 11th was our fault, 7-7 was our fault, the last 1,400 years of Islam being at war with non-Islam, that's our fault, everything's our fault. It's the work now. What do you now, know about the last 1,400 years of now, Islam? Now, it is the work... Your knuckles are dragging the ground. What do you know about the last 1,400 years of Islam? Now, you know nothing about Islam. Now, okay, George, are you a supporter? Are you, you a want supporter me to start, of Hamas? You want me to start quizzing you, Tommy, because it'll embarrass you. Are you, you want me to start asking you? I'm you asking want me you to a question. Are you a supporter well, of Hamas? Well, I'm asking the questions for... No, I'm not a supporter of Hamas. You don't but swear, Hamas. I'll, I'll what does that have to do? Oh, Tommy, 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 if I say you, I'll stand by it. You talk well, you. about the last 1,400 years of Islam, about which I'm absolutely certain you are sublimely ignorant. You know nothing about the last 1,400 years of Islam because your knuckles are dragging the ground. You're an ignoramus who describes women as birds and then as their missus, who calls himself Tommy, but his name's something else, I and I describe, I describe who's been accused by the police and the police minister of being hateful and extremist. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do you send your thugs 
into city centers to create havoc for the police, expense for the taxpayer, and leading to dozens, if not hundreds, of arrests because since the operation that you started. Because there's an Islamist epidemic across this country. Even even even, even last week, uh, there was a, a, a study throughout 12 universities, and a third of Muslims said that killing them was justified in the name of Islam. 90%... It's an epidemic. That we've well, let me stop you there, Tom. Go on. Which 12 universities held a study in which a third of Muslims said that killing in the name of Islam was correct, was acceptable. No, you don't have it because you're an ignorant weenyaf. You're quoting a non-existent I'm not quoting a survey. I'm, well, I'm you're tw- quoting a survey on national radio. 28 percent of them. I can, I'll, 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 I'll ring you back in a minute and find out how get No, even. don't ring me back 20... in a minute. You've just made a completely false allegation about 12 universities and yes. about the respect party in Luton and that's about your name and okay. about a conversation with me that you've never had. And you've, so, and you've just said you don't support Hamas and I just watched a video of you on the internet on YouTube where you openly say you support Hamas so why would you deny it now that you're on the radio? Well, that's you another Hamas, lie. Not te- you said Hamas are not terrorists. You that said is not, another you said, lie. You said Hamas are not terrorists, did you not? Uh, uh, Hamas are not terrorists is not yes. the same thing as saying I so, support okay, Hamas. So did, you, did you say Hamas are not terrorists? Don't you think something no, no, calling George, itself... answer the question, George. Did you say Hamas, Hamas are not terrorists? Are not ter- Hamas okay, well, are okay, well, I'm saying the, it. Uh, can, can I answer? I'm saying can I speak? it. Shut up and let me say it. Hamas are not terrorists, full now, can stop. I speak? Now, can I, I speak? do not can I speak? support ha- Hamas, full George, stop. George, can I speak? Can I speak? Yeah. Yeah, right, on. Hamas Charter. Israel will exist and continue and t- until Islam obliterates it. That is the first thing in their charter. That is the first thing in their charter. You're saying they're not terrorists. Actually, the EU actually, to, no, no, so it's one of that's the first. Accurate. The EU, that's as accurate. That's as accurate. Are you going to let me talk, George? Are you going to let no, me talk? No, no, when you're telling but lies. Is no. The e- EU I'm not going to... The EU listed them as prescribed terrorist organisation in January the 26th, 2009. The Hadith, which features many times in their charter, it actually, your listeners will not believe this, but it has a thing which says, the final day of judgment will come when all the Jews are dead. This is in I, the Hadith, no, in the charter, I, and actually I, I, says, I, I, now can you let me talk, George? And it, it actually, well, it actually no, says... No, I'm not going the, to let you... No, but you're I'm saying not, they're not terrorists. I'm not going you're to saying let they're you not lies. terrorists. You've, no, said you, you've said that they're not terrorists. <laughs> Listen, it's right, listen, it's right, Tommy. It's just, it's we're not on here it's to debate it. Hamas. Okay, if you want so to debate it. Palestine with me, you better get one I don't, of your friends I don't want, who actually I want to, knows, I want to explain who actually saying, I want to explain it. that you're saying they're not terrorists, and what listen, I'm saying is you've only in got their about, charter... Tommy, you've only got a minute or so left, so p- trust me, you don't want to waste it with a debate okay. about the Hamas charter. She you wants really to talk about what, what, why you, we form really, the English Centre. Really we form don't. the English Centre because Islamic extremism is spiralling yeah, out of control in this country. That's what I want to ask you about. That's what I want to ask you about. That's what I want to ask you about. If you'll stop and let me ask you about it. You say you're against Islamic extremists, but the truth is you're against Islam. You're against Muslims because you march against mosques in which there's no extremism at all. Your people chant slogans against Muslims, whether they're extreme or extremely moderate. So why don't you come clean, like you've now had to do with your name, why don't you come clean and say you think that Muslims shouldn't exist? I, I have Britain? no problem with Muslims. I, I have a problem with Islam when it's taken in its 7th century barbaric form in modern Britain. That's when I have a problem. And I have a problem with Muslims not doing enough not doing enough against the extremists. If you just, can you just let me talk and finish without butting in? Muslims fly planes into the Twin Towers. No Muslim outrage. Muslim, Muslims block the exits of burning schools with children because they're not covered their hair. No Muslim outrage. Muslims cut, up, cut, up, cut off the heads of three teenage girls. No Muslim outrage. Muslims that was in Iraq. That whoa. was in Iraq. Just let me say, that, Muslims yeah. kill 80 tourists. We're talking about the English no, Defence okay. League. Yes, we're yes. talking this, about Britain. You not, you're you, whipping you're up hatred. No, you're not no, going to let me no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Why not? Because, you're, because you are deliberately I'm, conflating no, I'm, no, events no, no, in Iraq I'm is, I'm with talking events about the view. in Britain. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up and let me finish. 
Muslims Shut up and let me truth. finish. No Muslim outrage. You I was talking, are... George. This is a, you're, no. you're, you're, you're talking. And then I, Muslims attack our troops. Muslims burn our poppies. No Muslim outrage. Someone draws a cartoon of Muhammad. 700 people killed. 54, 45 churches burned to the ground. Someone talks about people burning... Ki- so, someone talks 700 about people Trump. killed Worldwide where? Out- 700 world, world, people killed most, where? Most of them in Nigeria. Worldwide outrage. Worldwide We're talking out- about the English... When Will you it, shut British, up? Will you shut it? up and let me talk? We're talking about the English Defence League, the presence of Muslims in England, or if you like, in Britain. Don't keep talking about things that happened in Nigeria or in Iraq. We're talking about the presence of 1.8 million Muslims in Britain and your campaign against them. The police say. The police say that you are causing more extremism by the thuggish, ignorant, violent campaign at which you are the self-appointed head. Now, here's your last chance to tell us why the police are lying about you. We are a symptom. Why don't they tackle the cause? Because everyone's too afraid to talk about the cause, the root of the problem. We're a symptom. We would not be here if there was not militant Islam in our towns and cities. Why don't someone talk about the problem? Why don't you talk about the problem, George? We're not the problem. We're not, we've only come about well, the because the police say the you are the problem, though. Okay, but why, don't, yeah, but they don't, why are the, the police too, lying the about you? Too, because they're petrified of the Islamic community, the same as everyone else is. They're worried well, about the what police they are think. petrified of the Islamic community. Everyone's everyone's, uh, everyone's out of step except we, Tommy or Johnny or whatever his real name is. So why don't anyone Thanks talk very about the much cause? indeed. That's the leader of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, though it's not really his name, and he made himself the leader.